Hey guys, Trello Clips here. Signing on today to do a quick review of the uh, Sega Dreamcast controller, and not just this one, this one, and this one, and all of the others. Now then, you might notice that my video quality has gone up recently. That's because I'm actually using my phone. I had a decent to good camcorder from the mid-2000s before, but that's been very quickly outpaced by modern-day smartphones. I believe that, they, that my old cameras... I don't know... 5 megapixels, and this thing is 2 5 megapixels, so this thing is far brighter. So then... First thing that you'll notice about the Dreamcast controller is that it looks very similar to an Xbox 360 controller. Same analog triggers. If you trace a little bit, you could probably see a little bit of a circle there with the analog stick, D-pad, and buttons if they're a lot closer together. Um, but aside from that, you'll notice everything's in a circle shape. So no matter what you do, you're going around the circle. For what you do, which gives it a nice ergonomic to it. But starting from right over here, you've got a hard plastic analog stick, which your finger does slide off of kind of easily. You've got the D-pad, made out of a hard plastic, but it does the job. You've got your slightly angled start button, so you can just put it right down, and then it'll slide right off, no problem. It even has start engraved in it. Then you've got A, B, X, Y, very similar to the Xbox 360 controller and original Xbox controller. On the back, you've got your left and right analog triggers. And then you've got your spot for your VMU and rumble pack. This is my VMU. This is not my rumble pack. I don't have a rumble pack. This is my um third-party bootleg four-times memory card unit, because these things are tiny. Um, These things came in all sorts of colors, like the standard gray straight out of the box. Nothing different about it. And then this nice red color, and then this nice green color. Um, cable length on these things is pretty good. I want to say 2 to 2.5 meters. If you're American like me, that's somewhere between 6 and 8 feet. Uh, these this would plug in right here on top of the VMU. And let's pretend this was a rumble pack or a microphone, or whatever. This actually displays in-game data as a second screen, and then this thing, if it was a rumble pack, it would rumble, if it was a microphone, it would send voice data to the screen, but it's neither of those things. It's extra memory. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't even display memory on it, which is slightly disappointing. But, um, turning it around, as I said, you've got your triggers, uh, the cable comes out of the bottom because this thing is too big, so you actually have to take it and put it in this little niche right here. And then you notice it's got grips, like legitimate grips. And for 1999, 1998 when this thing was released, and therefore 1997 when it was being developed, these are really good grips. This is really ergonomic. Like... Props to Sega. Uh, sorry, I might have to show my face on that, but I had to make sure I wasn't covering up the, uh, music. So you probably just got a glimpse of my TV or how junky my room is right now. But that's fine. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, my personal opinions on this controller. It's a decent controller. It gets the job done. I like it. Thank you for watching.